to our customer and our supplier uh, regarding the analysis of their products. Um, the first instrument, I really like it because it was very stable, without any problems. But if I tried to perform different calibration with um, a product with a, with a very low concentration, like different acids, uh, the um, uh, low concentration had a very big uh, problem with the final noise of all the other parameters like sugar, like the total acidity, like the acids, like the polyphenols. In this case we um, tried to uh, switch to the flex model and uh, we had a very big increase in uh, sensibility and also these uh, new parameters like the acids itself, gluconic acids, uh, sulfur dioxide in part, we had a very big improvement. We had a very good improvement in results on um, those uh, parameters that are secondary parameters for many people, but uh, especially for us are uh, the fingerprints of all the product we are trying to sell, so flavors and so on. After that, the, um, the SO2, it was another problem because uh, um, the normal analysis, the classic analysis, asks for something like 15 minutes in distillation and all the time asked for the preparation of the sample, so uh, before and after the real uh, analysis time. This uh, time uh, usually reached up to 20 to 25 minutes per sample. For this reason, uh, we just switched it in the third um, composition, so the SO2 flex can, because uh, we needed a very fast uh, way to know the next amount of uh, the final SO2 in our products. We perform about 150 analyses per day, so no, it's a, a very useful, uh, very useful machine. The SO2 model is very useful because uh, um, usually. Uh, with our product, we perform the IFU method, and um, the IFU method uh, needs uh, 50 minutes to, to check the, the SO2 in our product. With this one, uh, we can perform the analysis in about 3-4 uh, minutes, so it's uh, a big advantage. From just the, the raw materials arrival, and first checking on the raw material up to every single step during the processing, filtration step, decantation step, uh, desulfurization, fermentation, and the fermentation usually takes from uh, 10 to 14 days. Every day, twice per day, we perform an analysis to check all the parameters. It's not a problem on one single analysis on one parameter. It's that you can just see all the picture in a very fast way and understand all the history. It's something that you can just put on the label of your life.